<coughs> now then, for game 2 second half, we're gonna be able to see Boy come in with Galachi once again. It's gonna be double rescuer C alongside with Toy Merchant. Well, to be fairly honest with you, it's a triple rescuer. And there's really no one you can chase in a team comp like this. Especially if C actually brings Flywheel for this one. Because, like, to play against Gala, Tai Kiting isn't too hard, to be fair with you. Especially against Gala, I wouldn't say Tai Kiting is really that hard, since, like, if once Gala holds her statues, the moment that she lets the statue go, she can immediately vault the pallet. As, and, like, it won't be slow vault as well most of the time, including the fact that there's muscle memory. But, onto the game we go, me just ranting about Gala a little bit right there, and then Boi spawning by Geisha in every sleeping town. Let's see then, who'll become the first chase. We're gonna run a little bit closer towards middle, meanwhile, Silver is also nearby. Kuta the fort right here we're gonna throw one statue out to test it out to see if we can get a chip or not but seeing fr from my side right now right silver is putting that down we are not going to be able to see a chip sadly because it's way too predictable for sculptor statues to come out it's way too predictable sadly but now then silver is putting quite a bit of distance right here it is able to rotate in towards corner house thankfully now then in corner house the two-story areas it will depend on gala herself but also, at the same time, it's kind of hard to throw statues up on the two-story settings like this. Then the silvers are being to jump down immediately right there, pulling down that polish. That statue did not come out. A little bit unfortunate, but the statue did not come out. Still trying to chase after the seer right now. Seer has... Oh, seer does not fly well, surprisingly, but he did manage to get a trip now. That will come out right there. GG's. Oh, he got a chip. Oh, he got a chip. I would have run flywheel against Gala and just flywheel the normal hand and go behind the pallet. But you know what? It's fine. We I would like to see Seer's perspective as well, to be fair. But be a little bit too focused on dodging the statues right there. But Kuzal giving the assist maybe a little bit too early with a stun. But still good enough for forward, for not forward, for Seer to pull quite a bit of distance right there. Now, statue, I, statue wasn't thrown out right there, thankfully. But we do see Toy Merchant's assist right there. Which is why Toy Merchant on forward here is so good. Because the only one you can chase after is the Seer. Meanwhile, Heart here will become the main 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 harasser right her will just give off as much pressure as possible meanwhile boy walking towards the other side right now thinking that the survivors are here in actuality that bell in which it just ran basically just tells you that the seer is actually not here which is very unfortunate now she still sees where the seer is but this is tier one statues no points at all no points at all. Aside from the fact that your chisel can look for survivors, the chances of you actually chipping after someone's very, very, very darn low. And like with Coordinator right here being like the main harasser of the game, the gun coming out here allowing you to pull even more distance. Now, this is the conundrum. Are you gonna chase after Seer? No, we're gonna go. Who are you gonna go after? Boy, 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 don't lose your mind right here. Don't hesitate. Don't lose your mind. You still do have teleport if you want to immediately change targets, but this game seems like it's, com it's gonna completely go downhill. Now, Kutau being the next chase right here from Boy's decision. Ford with three quarters of vault, but Silver's as well running out straight towards Gala's face. Seems like Boy didn't really see where the Seer was, so. Going after Kuta right here, I would say that, you know, Steer kind of got lucky right there. Steer kind of really got lucky right there. With this many statues on hand and still not being able to chip any, life is not Daijobu right now. Kuta, uh, well, the only reason why Boy did that charge attack hit was because of the fact that, oh, the well, oh, well. Oh, well, I mean, there's no way you can hit uh, that one out as well, because, like, you just, you just attack, attack speed is just too slow, sadly. But now then, let's see, Kuta is still being able to do quite a very nice containment right here, but the blink on me right here and the mini ball pulled, it's not going to matter because two Cypher machines remaining at 50%. Meanwhile, Heart is also nearby to rescue. So... It's fine. Listen, it's fine. We Toy Merchant cur currently trying to finish his Cypher machine. Meanwhile, Seer is trying to stall for as much idle time as possible. You see, the issue here is you either use owls for the coordinator to stop her from decoding or use the owls on Seer. Or you don't use, not owls, statues, or you don't use any statues at all. But that's a very beautiful perfume. Boy kind of crying right there internally and externally. And of course, dodging the statue is not hard. Sadly, even, even that statue right in front of Seer's face just dodged without effort. Life is not Daijobu. Then no, no, going towards heart right here. Not a bad plan if you want to stall for a cypher machine. But look at what Toy Merchant is doing. Toy Merchant is completely starting off a completely whole new cypher at Corner House. Now then, that is going to be one statue chip, thankfully. But it's not going to be enough for you, sadly. 
It's not gonna be enough for you, sadly. Oh, she has the survivor's healing, I guess. I still wonder how some people are able to hear that, but uh, chasing after Seer right here is not a good choice, but it is a very beautiful terror shock hit down. And then once again, Hard is just giving, Hard is just forcing Gala to use statues right here, because like, they don't need to pop the Cypher machine, you see, there's another Cypher machine at like 74-5%. And Kutal can also come into rescue if you really, oh, he has watch, wow. Didn't get a hit. Kuta coming with a backdoor rescue right now. Meanwhile, the Cypher Machine currently at 492%. Seer sitting still being like, life is so chill. So chill. But Seer going down right. Seer has an owl. Seer has an owl. So as long as Seer just starts your statues normally, and, and then the owl can basically tank everything. Seer, very beautiful first statue dodge. Seer, second statue, no pressure at all. Seer, third statue, nothing at all. And the exit gate is currently being opened from both sides. This is where Toy Merchant is law and currently opening that exit gate. But what is nearby? There's a catapult nearby and of course a Seer's Owl. So all what Seer has to do right now is the moment before Lon Lan. Seer, I will, I will, I will, I will. No, we don't even need I will. What? Wait, wait, Seer, I will. I will. One, two. That's a chip. That's another chip. Seer, is Seer looking? Is Seer looking? Seer! Oh no, this is catapult. Okay, no catapult. Oh, okay, okay. G -g -g -g. Wait a second, Ford has... Wait, Ford has pocket watch. Ooh. So Seer will be forced out. Seer's... Seer's... Seer's done. Seer's done. Seer's done. That's fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. As long as Toy Merchant crawls towards this area, it's good. It's actually good. It's so good for them right now. Uh, Hard is going over to open the gate as well. Oh no, there's a pocket watch. Oh no, boy, I don't think he can make it towards that chair, can he? Wait, he actually can't, never mind. He can, he can, he can, he can, he can. And Toy Merchant has no item as well, which is good. That is that is the good part of it all. That is the good part of it all. Oh, okay then. It's still a tie. It's still a tie. Well, it's still a one-man elimination, I guess, which is fine, but... Oh, wait, the tension's over. Ooh, the tension's over. What will forward get? Forward will get a wand. No way. Oh, forward used... Oh, no, they're, they're just going for the tree mine. They're just going for a tree mine. Okay. They're not risking it. They're not risking it. They're not risking it. Okay, that's fair. That's very fair. Now then, moving on. <sighs> oh, my God. <sighs> but in the second half we go, we're gonna be able to see Slime coming out as... Mm, Slime coming out as Nightwatch. It's not bad, I guess. It's not bad. But the, but the problem here is Survivor need a 4-man endgame. They need a 4-man endgame for a 3-man escape, or perhaps maybe a 4-man escape. But with this type of team comp, I guess, for Sawm to chase after... Probably best chase for Sawm here is... None of them, in my opinion. Maybe you can chase after a female dancer if you brush... Insolence? Female dancer or toy merchant if you brought Insolence. But overall, for Sawm, if you didn't bring Insolence, I say it's gonna be very hard to chase. But anyways, on towards the game we go then, shall we? Let me see, so I'm spawning by double 11 right here. All survivors are pretty darn far away from him, but now then, gonna go very closely towards Zubi right here. Uh, this is Insolence Detention, okay, I was right. Yeah, because this team comp, if you, whether you chase after Toy Merchant or the Female Dancer, you have to run Insolence. No matter what happens here, you have to run Insolence. But it's a blink, which is very surprising. Sorry, I'm just... Okay, I'm, I'm back now. The blink is very surprising as well. But it does seem like Painter has paintings right now for himself to... No, he doesn't. Just not yet. Playing mind games here a little bit against the Painter. But Painter should be able to go very closely. This is Nightwatch before Nerf, if I'm not wrong. That's going to be the very first hit registered. And hopefully, we can have forward to come into Stone Rescue. 
Well, not really stone rescue, but you know what I mean. Stone harass for a little bit right here. Oh, that's going to be a slow music box deployed on both sides. We are going to break the pallet there instead of blinking. So that shows a lot. That shows a lot. Excitement popping out right there. Fly wheel beautifully body blocked by Juan. I don't know if that was needed, but you know what? It is what it is at the end of the day. It is what it is. Still trying to play as much mind games here as possibly. But Juan here has the upper hand because of the speed. Speed boost with the vaulting right there from female dancer side. Not being able to get the terror shock hit right there. AK on Juan's. That, this is a very nice looking duo. That's a very nice looking stun. And female dancer probably will not be able to rotate out here. It's the, the, Oh, beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. The issue, the issue with this is right. Juan can't just continue here for so long because of that slow music box. And it seems like Forward realizes the fact that, oh wait, he doesn't have excitement anymore. Let's stun him! Uh, Juan being pulled back here a little bit more gets to stun down. Brilliant, but AK will just be here to harass, really. Buy a little bit more time for them to decode is what I would like to say. Now then, AK putting down that pallet right there. We're going to be able to pick it up immediately here, getting the stun rescue down. That's fair enough, I guess. Because I say he brought insolence here, didn't he? But once again, this is a forward, so he vaults the pilots pretty darn fast. Now then, another stun down, but this time there's no drop down animation, which is a little bit unfortunate. Huang here, still trying to contain for as long as possible. Two pilots nearby isn't really going to help you out much. Yeah, just double backing with a with a vault should be fine, but... Guess who still has excitement? Well, guess who still, who still has balls? It's the forward. We're gonna pull the ball right here, quite a bit of distance, no balls remaining on towards forwards hands except for maybe 1% ball, but with the Cypher Machine progress right here, they they do need a bit more though, because boy doesn't really have much, right, they do need a little bit more though, they don't really have much, we are gonna be able to vault over that, sadly didn't really get the pull back on forward because he vaults faster, and now the issue here is Toy Merchant is coming in to rescue, Oh yeah, Toy Merchant is coming to rescue four Canty Code now, I guess. Gonna get a normal down Toy Merchant. And now, and now, and now, gets a pull back there very nicely done. Ah! Uh, the issue with Juan right now is where he can go. Not what he can do, it's where he can go. But that's the media dash looking for forward right there. Wanting to get a chance there to double down forward, but that's going to be triple dash for Juan. And Juan's still crawling in towards the corner right there. He's trying to start as much time here as possible for... Basically just for them in a nutshell. Now, Nanako Cypher is actually the Cypher that's almost done. But AK will be the one that comes into rescue because AK is the only one at max health right now. AK going into rescue, but of course, Don double backing, realizing that this is going to be happening in front of him right now. <coughs> I don't think you can rescue immediately here. You need to stall a bit more time. Oh, that hit of the chair. Wait a second, rush into double 11 right now. We can rush into double. Oh. 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 Headed AK 60% cipher machine. There's a huge chance for a four man end game right here. That's a pilot drop down, which is very nicely done. But it seems like Juan still trying to play around here. Let me wait a second. Can we vault? We vaulted over, but also that guy vaulted over with beautiful flywheel. <gasps> wait, 83, 84. We vault over that. He got the hit down. That's okay. 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. We picked up AK! Pop! 1% ball! 1% ball! D dodged it! Wait, AK! Oh, AK! Oh, AK! Oh, my God! Oh. Painting! 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 Brilliant. My man. My man. Oh, AK got up. Way. No way, right? Oh, no way. No, 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 no. It's not happening. It's not happening. So, thank God it's not happening. Okay. G -g 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 -g. What a game. <coughs>